What's up, players? What's going on, Zendu Nation? Dan Whitmer here, Brandon Epstein, Zendu Fitness. Let me break it down for you real fast. We believe that fitness should be entertaining and fun, and you should be able to watch our videos without always having to rewind them. So, for you, our awesome community, guess what? We're doing full length workouts now. We're gonna try and do as many of them as possible on a roof, but we always gonna be doing them together now. So one of us will be working out, one of us will be motivating and leading you guys through some tips. The goal here, guys, is to continue to just travel around the world and show you that you can have a fit body anywhere in this world. If you like this video, please, please give it a thumbs up below, followed by a subscribe. We would greatly appreciate that. If you want the jump rope that we use in this video and every video that you're gonna see from the Zen Dudes, it's a cross rope, best, most durable rope on the market. Click the link below or right here and get yourself one. What we're doing right now is the full workouts to the first month of our Getting Lean course. You can follow along with these, or if you want to purchase the course, which includes a lot more information on nutrition, daily interaction with Brandon and myself, and a lot more information on how we make this lifestyle work, click the link below and purchase it. That's all I got for now, baby. Let's work out. All right, folks, we are starting off with our warm up. And as you can see here, our fitness model, Dan Whitmer, is getting us going with some jumping jacks. You, know, you may be wondering to yourself, what is a proper jumping jack form? Well, as you can see, Dan is just flailing his arms up and down and legs outward. And that is really the best form you can do for jumping jacks. Here we got the air squat for 10 repetitions. And the beauty here about the air squat is you get blood flowing up and down your body. And you can see Dan's protecting his knees by jutting them out to the side and dropping that booty low for full extension. Damn, he's cruising. Now we got 10 front lunges on both sides. And you can see here he's pressing up through his heel and really trying to line that knee over his ankle every single time. It's just beautiful. It's, it's, just a, it's beautiful what he's doing here. I can't even take it. Loving it. All right, 10 push-ups. And that's the first round of the warm-up. You can see here, Dan's protecting his rotator cuffs, his shoulders, by really focusing on bringing his shoulder blades back and his scapula. It's a beautiful thing. Begin. All right, real talk about the jumping jacks. You got 20 of them right now. And the goal of the jumping jacks is just to get blood flowing throughout your body. We don't want to exercise cold, so if you're somewhere cold right now, the warm up, the jumping jacks, all these exercises help warm your body up, protects your joints and your muscles from tearing or doing other awful things. All right, Dan, you got those 10 air squats here. And again, you can see Dan has his weight back on his heels. And so he's, this, is, this is the perfect air squat form. If you can see Daniel, you can replicate this. That's what we want for you. Creating that 90 degree angle between his calf and his hamstring. Ah, oh, there's a lot to say about all the things he's doing over here. All right, so we got 10 front lunges. You're doing great, man. Back and forth. You're doing great, bro. Thanks, you too, man. Thank you, buddy. And you can see what makes front, front lunges a lot easier is getting holes in your sweatpants. If you can do that, you have a lot more room to bring your knee through your pants. All right, he's gonna finish off the warm up here with 10 push ups. And again, we're bringing that body down and creating that 90 degree angle between the bicep and the forearm. Who's ready for a workout? Starting off with jump rope front straddle here. And you can see what Dan's doing. He's just moving upward and backward on the balls of his feet. And look at the rest of his body. See how he's not moving anything really but the balls of his feet? And he's using the momentum of this slightly heavy cross, heavy cross rope we have to keep it rolling. And you can see here, it's working his shoulders pretty good. It's engaging his entire body. Out my shoulders! It's a full body workout. Freaking shoulders, man! All right. Next exercise here, we're just doing some straight plyometrics, 
high knees. And the goal here is trying to get those knees about uh, waist level high. That's your goal every time. You're exploding off the balls of your feet, keeping that back straight, and bringing those knees up to your waist. And Dan's doing a great job showing this here. Look at him go, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, Do the beautiful thing. form. Do the thing. He sure is doing the thing, isn't he? Uh, yeah. I wish we had a drone overhead right now to capture this. Next exercise here is jump rope, side straddle, and much like the, the front saddle, you're just staying on the balls of your feet, you're letting the rope do the work, and you're just keeping everything else tight about your body. Don't hunch your back over, don't try to do anything crazy, just let the rope do the work and bounce back and forth. Dan, you got yourself about 10 seconds left, and you got yourself 10 seconds left, and then you're done with this exercise. Five, four, three, two, one. exercise is butt kickers and like the name of the exercise says you're trying to kick your butt but don't get too wild with it look at Dan here he's keeping everything controlled he's using his no momentum of his arms to drive his heels through his gluteus maximus which is a technical name for the buttocks and Dan a little warning here you got 10 seconds left thank you and you do too 10 seconds left keep moving strong high intensity workout guys we're not this ain't no Newport Beach all right let's go The second half of this circuit is going to be the same four exercises again. So you can see Dan is doing the jump rope front straddle. Beautiful form. And really, again, I cannot emphasize how important it is to keep everything in your body tight and let the rope do the work. And that's why having a good rope is so important. Because if you have a shitty rope, it's going to get... Excuse me! Hallelujah! A bad rope is going to get tangled. you got about five seconds left, Dan. Two, one... High knees again. Remember, what are the, what's the number one rule of high knees? Get those knees up to waist level. Look at them. Boom, 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 boom. So, yeah, snap that hand, snap that hand. That is really annoying. I'm sure Dan hates me doing that, but it's really important because it helps remind you to get your knees up. And you guys, you got 10 more seconds of getting those knees up before you get a 10 second break. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Three seconds. One more again. One more time for the people at home. So you guys, like I said before, keep everything tight. Use your momentum of the rope and just bounce on the balls of your feet back and forth and keep the intensity high. It's easy to just like go through the motions of these workouts, but that's not the point. You're here, you're doing it, so you might as well do the thing and go all out. You got five seconds and you're done. Come on, Dan. Come on, you at home. Do, do that. Exercise and you get a full one minute break. We're doing butt kickers again. Watch Dan get in the zone, really get into every single breath. Breathe in through the nose, out through the mouth. Own this moment, own this moment. Do the thing. Last exercise. Come on, let's go. Let's go, D. Let's go, dudes and dudettes. We got 10 seconds more. Come on, finish strong here. Then you get a minute break. Leave it all out on the roof or wherever you jump a rope. We're doing this workout.
number two, so we're trying to up the intensity on this one. It's probably gonna feel like the intensity is up naturally because this is your second circuit, so you're getting more tired. But challenge yourself to go even harder. And if you mess up like Dan did, you know, you should feel pretty bad about yourself because no one messes up at jump rope. Everyone's perfect. Just kidding, guys. You got six more seconds left in this exercise and you get a little 10 second rest. Let's go, finish strong. These are really hard. High knees for some reason is a really a strenuous exercise. Begin side straddle. Right back into it, we got jump rope side straddle here. Nothing changes from the first circuit. You're bouncing on the balls of your feet back and forth. On your balls! Shoulders tight, work those shoulders. Look at Dan's shoulders. You know how he got those shoulders? By jumping rope. Burns. All right, we got five seconds left. Finish strong here, come on. Butt kickers, baby. This is where, this is where you dig down deep, all right? This is the latter half of the circuit, and you gotta dig deep to finish strong on these sets. This is the latter half. It's not the latter half, I lied. But I feel like it is. I bet Dan feels like it is more. Here you go, you guys. You got about 10 seconds left. Continue to try to kick yourself in the butt. Do the best you can. And if you can't go as fast as Dan, that's cool. Do the best that you can do. when you trip up. We trip up all the time, and we we know you're gonna do it too, and it's cool, just keep running with it. Don't get to start. You're done. All right, back at the high knees again. You guys really push yourself. Get in your zone here. Nothing else exists except for maybe my voice and the music in your head and every balance of your foot upward. Let's go. Driving those knees. You're about halfway home, come on. 10 more seconds, finish strong. And smile, sometimes smiling helps relieve tension. So I hear, so I read in a book somewhere. Relax. Jump rope, side straddle. And finish strong here, guys. We know that you're capable of anything you put your mind to. You just have to decide. You just have to do the thing and know that if you put the effort in, you're gonna get the results. So finish strong, 10 seconds here, let's go, come on. Finish strong, let's go. Three seconds, two, one, time. circuit push yourself guys we got butt kicks really try not to hunch over keep that posture on point and just lightly kick yourself in the butt over and over again you caught this come on halfway home 15 more seconds let's go come on 10 seconds you're doing great Dan and you at home everyone's doing great and I'm just standing here come on guys three 
seconds. Finish strong. Boom. circuit it's time to dig down deep and see what you got front straddle again when I see, when you see Dan you're gonna see him push himself to his most farthest upper limits so when you continue to do these workouts when you get to your third circuit like this you shouldn't be able to go as fast as you did in your first one you should be fatigued by now and you should be slowing down but you should still be pushing yourself as hard as you can go two seconds Dan come on with sweat so if you're not drenched with sweat at the end of this workout unless you live in like you know Anchorage Alaska you should be reconsidering what you're doing in these workouts all right time Nothing changes guys, keep that core tight. This is when you have to think about four more now than ever. When you're fatigued, when you're out of breath, when you're hurting, if you need to, slow down the movement and make sure that your form is on point so you still feel that burn in your shoulders, in your calves, through your core, through your legs. You wanna keep pushing yourself and keep that form tight and on point. Dan, you got five seconds, come on baby, come on. again as you can see here Dan is showing you still perfect form in the third circuit here and what he's doing is he's not flailing his body to go as fast as possible he's making it actually harder for himself by slowing the form down and making sure it's on point when you do this you're actually exerting more energy more calories and getting more out of this workout you got five seconds Dan come on let's go finish strong boom seconds 10 more seconds let's go let's go let's go let's go and that's time here we go back to the high knees again and hey, yo I might sound like a broken record but the reason why I'm here is to keep your form on point. So I want you to really focus on using your arms here to propel you forward, driving those knees up as much as you can. You're halfway home in this exercise right here. Come on, 10 seconds. Come on, Dan, you got this. You got this, you got this, you got this. Two, one.
starting to come about a centimeter or two off the ground. You can see Dan's just barely pivoting and shuffling back and forth, back and forth. You got 10 more seconds, Dan. You got about seven seconds now. Let's go, come on. Finish off. Three, two, one, time. My boy Dan, yeah. he's going super hard. Yeah, let's go, yeah. baby. And let's go. He don't care what the people say. He's gonna keep jumping rope and doing it all day. 15 seconds, come on, guys. Come on, come on. Dig deep here. Eight seconds. You can tell that we used to play football. We get in that mode. We're like, yo, bro, let's go. Five seconds, three seconds, let's go. <sighs> Time. Dan knows 
because he goes hard on these workouts. Let's go, 10 more seconds. You know, come on, three, two, one, relax. Try not to get hit by this rope. 
time. Kickers, let's go. You know what time it is. Time to kick that butt, kick in your old butt. The people who succeed the most life are the people who kick their old butt the most. You don't need someone telling you what to do. I like that. You're capable of it. You do it. You do the thing because you want an awesome life. Woohoo! Ten more seconds. Come on. Finish strong. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Three, two, one, time. Four more exercises, you're done for the day. Let's go. Finish strong here, give it everything you have. This is called a high intensity workout for a reason. You're purely trying to burn calories right now. Get rid of that fat, let's go. Come on, 10 more seconds left in this exercise. If you mess up, just keep going. Just jump right back in, jump right back in. Three, two, one, done. I know you're gonna be happy to hear this. Dan's happy to hear this. This is the last high knees of the day. So let's make it the best. Finish strong here. Drive those knees up, coming up off the balls of your feet, keeping that core tight. Protect your back by squeezing that belly button through your lower back. Let's go. 10 more seconds. Uh huh. You know what you're doing. Five more seconds. Three, two, one, done. Baby. 